Hey, are you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Want to achieve your financial goals faster without sacrificing your lifestyle? In this video, we'll share five financial hacks, tips, and tricks that'll help you make the most out of your money and reach your financial goals faster. So are you ready to hack your way to financial success? Let's go. Hey, hey, it's your boy Damon here. I love good music in the background and some sweet conversation. And I'm stoked to have you back on the channel where we whip up our finances into shape. And today I'm serving up some serious sauce, that's a lot of S's, with five financial hacks that'll make you richer than Scrooge McDuck. So let's dive in, baby. Number one on the list is automate your finances. Sometimes you might forget to do certain things like paying your bills. Listen up, folks. If you're anything like me, you have a lot going on and have no fear because automation is here. By setting up automatic transfers from your checking to your savings account or investment accounts, you can save money without lifting a finger other than the one you use to set this up. And let's not forget, of course, about automating your bill payments so you never have to worry about those late fees ever again. To take it to the next level, consider using budgeting apps like Mint or Empower to track your spending and saving goals automatically. That's what I call smart money management. Take advantage of credit card rewards. Credit cards can be a great tool for earning rewards on everyday purchases. However, it's important to use them responsibly and pay them off in full each month to avoid high interest charges. Look for credit cards that offer cash back or rewards points for things you already spend your money on, like groceries, gas. You can even take advantage of sign-up bonuses by opening a new credit card account and meeting, the, of course, the minimum spend requirement for that sign-up bonus. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do know a thing or two about making your money work for you. If you'd like me to elaborate more on detail about all these topics, let me know in the comments below. Negotiate your bills is the next one. Many service providers like cable companies or cell phone providers, they offer new customer deals or discounts that aren't advertised to existing customers. If you've been a loyal customer for a while, it's worth calling and asking them if there are any discounts or promotions that you're eligible for. Even in this market climate, you can still ask for a lower interest rate on your credit cards or negotiate medical bills if you're paying out of pocket. Just be polite, of course, but firm. And don't be afraid to walk away if you're not getting the deal that you want. Number four is shop smarter. With the rise of online shopping, it's easier than ever to compare prices and find deals. Use price comparison apps like Honey or Camel 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 to find the best prices on products you want to buy. You can also use browser extensions like Rit Ritukin, Rat Radican, Rakuten, or swag bucks to earn cash back on purchases you make online. Another way to save money online is by waiting for seasonal sales or clearance events to purchase big ticket items. This is especially applied to digital items like music, video games, or subscriptions. Of course, shopping smarter doesn't necessarily mean you have to rely on apps or browser extensions. While they can be helpful tools, you can also do your own research by comparing prices at different stores or waiting for sales before making the purchase. The key is to be mindful of your spending and avoid impulse buys. By taking a little extra time to think about your purchases, you can save money and make more informed decisions. The last one is cut unnecessary expenses. It's easy to get caught up in the cycle of spending money on things we really don't need like coffee or subscription services or other things that we don't use. Take a closer look at your monthly expenses and identify areas where you can cut back. For example, you can make coffee at home or bring your own lunch to work instead of eating out, cancel subscription services when you're not using, or downgrade to a cheaper plan if possible. You can also find ways to save money on utilities utility bills by turning off lights and electronics when you're not using them or adjusting the thermostat a few degrees. I understand how it might seem like cutting unnecessary expenses seems like penny pinching, but it's actually about being intentional with your spending. By identifying what truly brings you joy and satisfaction and focusing on resources for those things, you can free up money and energy to pursue your passions and live a more fulfilling life. It's not about depriving yourself, but rather about prioritizing your values and making choices that align with them. Well, there you have it. We've covered some killer financial hacks to help you achieve your financial goals. From automating your finances to scoring 
scoring those sweet credit card rewards, negotiating bills, shopping smarter, and cutting out unnecessary expenses, you've got some serious money saving strategies up your sleeve. I say a lot of S's in this video, but let's not forget the most important piece of the puzzle, consistency and discipline. It's all well and good to know these hacks, but you've got to put them into practice to see results. So start implementing these tips today. And before you know it, you'll be on your way to financial success. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comment section below on any other type of video you'd like me to do. My name is Damon and I will see you in the next video. Take care.